print. You know, when print was first invented, look at it, it's just beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. And what print began to do was to kind of give structure, to give a structure on the page to, uh, to ideas and to words, and they look really beautiful. It's still a kind of illusion, and then pages were created. And they're beautiful. You know, pages are beautiful. Print is beautiful. But I think the thing to remember is that they grew from the spoken word, they grew from singers, they grew from dancers. So when sight printed pages and beautiful pages and beautiful print, there is still the kind of beating heart of human of human dramas, of the human body and the human mind. Um, so when I was a kid and I thought, how on earth am I going to do that? I thought, well, actually, I just have to be messy. I gave a talk um, uh, a couple of years ago in the theatre, it was full of kids, and uh, kids give us the best questions. And at the end I said, has anybody got any questions? And there was a girl right in the front room. She said, yes, how do you turn all the mess that's in your head into straight lines on the page? And that's the question, isn't it? How do you do that? Even the right shot on this. You've got to turn the mess into, into straight lines. And I think the way to begin is to begin by accepting the mess. And uh, I think I've got it. So, yeah, that's a picture from one of the notebooks. When I began to do this, I thought, well, I'll just play. And I think the notion of writing as play is really important. So I spend a lot of time doing this. I'd love to mess about in my. Um, notebooks. Here's, uh, these are some pages. The thing I'm doing at home is quite a big thing. So I thought I'll do big pages. And I'll use um, a big pen. I did this with a Sharpie. Who likes Sharpies? Sharpies are one of the most great inventions. <laughs> and it was beautiful to write with a Sharpie and to use highlighters and to play. And what's happening here is I'm kind of just digging in them to see what's possible and what that might be. And it's a playful thing. And I work a lot of the time in a, a shed, a kind of cabin, and we go up. And a lot of time when I'm writing, I'll be scribbling with a show, I'll be, I'll be staring out of the window, I'll be having a touch with the computer. And I'm sure if a school inspector looked in through my shed window, then, that man is not a task. What kind of possible outcome of this be? <laughs> the outcome, of course, is, is the books that I produce. So it's a kind of playful thing. We all know it's serious, but it's hard work. It is hard work, but it's also a form of play. And it's really important to remember that. 